Dice quickly becoming a veteran of the Rara Land tournaments, made his way here again this year to Dortmund, Germany. Of course, he qualified for the online qualifier, made it to the top six there, and again proving himself yesterday, especially. The last stage match we had late in the night against Labyrinth, Dice looked really, really good. I guess that's what's uh, what it, playing happy all those tournaments and suffering all those losses does for you. You get really good against Undead. He was able to prove that yesterday. Today, he has to prove himself in the matchup against Quark. Yeah, we're going to find out just how seasoned he is today. I thought he started off really slow yesterday against Focus, so a lot of people dogging him uh, for that loss, but he picked it up way later. I mean, beating Jens and Labyrinth. So uh, we're going to find out really soon, game one, you know, where Dice is at. Obviously, Focus is a huge favorite, but Dice is one of those players on land that could just totally turn around. He's like a super dark horse, take a map off anybody, so I wouldn't count him out, and we'll see uh, how confident he is. I had a chance to talk to the young man, actually. The first thing I asked him, why did he cut that hair? Uh, main question, right? And the second one was, you know, what kind of style are you going to play? Are you going to be more confident? He said he's going to take more risks in this series than he did yesterday. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, of course, this is the rematch previously when they met in the upper bracket. That game we couldn't show. That was on the big stream. Focus got the 2-0 pretty convincingly. Focus says he likes to play against Night Elf because he likes the Blade Master. It's his favorite hero. It's his favorite unit. Against Undead can be difficult to play. Against Human, it's impossible to play. But against Night Elf, the Blade is always the old reliable. And Night Elves these days are playing a lot of Demon Hunter first. Keeper first, not so much in the meta anymore. It's all about the Demon these days. And that is normally followed up by Dryads or Bears or a mix of the two. Focus should be very well aware of this. This is what almost everyone is doing these days. Keeper Fast Expo uh, has fallen out of the meta on many maps. But on the specialty maps like Hammerfall, we might still see it. And we do see as well Boots of Speed on the Demon to speed him up nice and quick. Yeah, and Dice is trying to get a little bit of map awareness, trying to creep up a little bit too. Focus obviously going to be super aggressive with that blade, so we'll see who's going to meet up with who first. Focus obviously just wants to sight him first, and then uh, we'll get back into it. But Focus has the style, if he plays the same way he did oh. yesterday. Was... Oh my god, so close. Oh, yeah. Alright, that was a little bit close. Good thing he had that circle. The Demon Hunter was around the corner. It's a little bit scary right there. Has to pop the speed scroll already, save the grunt, save the blade, and that will be good enough. It's crit and wind walk. No mirror image here, which has also been uh, looking quite popular lately. But against Dryad later on with a Dispel, normally not that effective as the early game. It's uh, well underway. And Dice is creeping really well here as well. Two and a half already. If he creeps his next camp with the Ancient of War, there will be level three. He would love to get that nice and early. Yeah, both players are just kind of giving each other all the room right now, the which is good. Archers are coming in. Blade attack. Master's here. Could be very annoying if he starts right-clicking. Dice has to make a call, but the Grunts are there too. So we'll see uh, what happens. Naga, obviously, second. Yeah, that's uh, certainly what Dice's positioning seems to indicate. Also, uh, Keeper has been play getting played quite a bit as a second hero. Good for Entangle, good for the uh, Thorns Aura later on as well. And the Demon Hunter just keeps oh creeping. God. It's a Beastmaster. Okay. Hold up. This is Talons. Rock and roll. This is Talons. Holy, I was misreading this game heavily. Hopefully, Focus isn't making the same mistake as I was because he needs to get ready for Talons Clear quick forward. and for this push into the main base because the Beastmaster's here, the Demon as well. Good old Tier 2 push into the main base. This used to be the meta. Many years ago, we saw it by Foggy, we saw it by all the top players and something that Orcs aren't all so prepared for anymore because, yeah, this is a rare sight. This is not the strategy normally we see most of the time, the Talons, but this time DICE is going for it. And this is a big change from DICE since yesterday, so I'm glad he is. He's starting to take more risks in a map one, you might as well. Um, didn't get much in terms of harassment. The Archers are actually going down quite heavily Focus, getting a lot of damage done there and, not, uh, and getting away with it too with the Blade. Yeah, got the Beast Series cancel, which is pretty good. That delays the Ensnare and the Raiders for a long time. But I would argue the more important building is the Spear Lodge. You need to get the Walkers out, you need to get the mana regening, you need to make sure you have enough dispels later on. This engine, of course, will take a while to come online. Mana is going to be a big factor in this game. Walkers and heroes on the Orc side, and especially Talon mana on the Night Elf side. Double Agent of Wind now, of course, coming up. And soon we'll see. Bunch of Psycho. Level 3 Demon is pretty huge. It's still level 1 Shadowhunter, so Dice can keep uh, map control while he builds up these wins. I mean, he's in a great spot. The only problem would be if Focus just creeps like crazy, which he is doing some good camps right now. Nice reveal. Yeah, great scout by Dice. Seems like he always is very much aware what Focus is up to here. Good game by the Russian so far. Come, uh, following up here with the Beastmaster as well, forcing the Hex on the... No, no, so it's not going to be Serpent Ward Heal Waves, which would be the ideal late-game build. 
Um, Shadowhunter here going to be a little bit later, a, bit, a little bit weaker perhaps later on. Yeah, and this is good control from Dice. I mean, you're just keeping that shadow low. 1.3 all day. AOW is going to be uh, creeping the shop as well, and he's going to take all this. Like, 1.6 Beast is great heading into Tier oh, 3. Grunt. Oh, no way. Oh, beast. Ooh, little biggie. Almost went to the market. That would have been huge. Yeah, but even without that, I would say Dice is in a great position here. Team Hunter level 3 already reached it a while ago. Really nice. The Beast Master though needs to start working on levels soon. This opportunity for Dialf would fall back, keep creeping, wait for the Master Training to be up, when then he gets a lot stronger. But if you see the confidence from Dice, he's on the enemy side of the map. He is not shying away from a possible engagement. He's taking resources off of his opponent's side. Dice is looking again really good and building on his great performance yesterday. Yeah, really confident Dice, and I hate to say it, but this is kind of where focus on land. Tends to choke. This is his stage. Quarterfinal semis is where we You're see a different wrong, focus. Man. So if Dice is in, in shape, folks need to pick it up. A huge jack, potentially two grunts, and a great mana burn. There we go. This is a great jack from Dice as well. Get a unit. Blazing the staff, saving the archer, the grunt running away. Very fast with the speed scroll here, trying to retreat to the back of the base. But one goes down still, and Dice finding more and more pickoffs here. Making use of every opening up until now with master training now in research as well. And Dice is in absolutely full control this game. I'm quite impressed. Quite impressed indeed with him so far. But Focus Army can also get a lot stronger. He got the first Berserker, which is a big addition from the Merc camp. Might be able to get another one later. And with more Spirit Walkers also his army will become stronger. Sure he lost a Grunt. But grunts aren't the units you want to have anyways against talents. Right, and the weird thing about this matchup is uh, you, see, you look at the supplies and you think folks is well ahead. In this style, dots tend to be under 50 supply anyway. You don't need that much supply. So the difference, the armies still kind of favor the Night Elf sometimes in these fights, especially if the heroes can get leveled up. So don't be uh, dissuaded by the, uh, the supply. All the play, oh, the timing. Huge. Absolutely perfect to steal Great. the item. And he got a wonderful one as well, the Lion Horn. That was just on the dot. Perfect timing here to the second. And trying to take the other big item as well. Oh, and he gets both those big permanent items, which I guess he will. It's going to be a huge boost for him. So we mask, I think, would be the best here for the shadow. And it is the rune bracer. Wow, that is terrible. But it's going to be gold when sold. And we'll find in some of these other items. Speaking of items, Blade Master bought the Tome of Retraining and did retrain into Mirror Image. Now we do see it. Very good against the Talons late game. Very difficult for the Lion to figure out quickly who the real Blade Master is. Yeah, we're starting to use it right now. Dice probably wants to take a fight. I mean, I would now take her third as well, so everything's kind of uh, not too low for folks, but he has a huge army. I mean, a healthy 49 supply. Yeah, good army by focus, but I think he would like have to have just simply more of it. More walkers, more berserkers yeah. especially, more raiders. Normally, uh, the orc wants to be up in supply, as we all know. Right now, Dice is keeping playing field nice and even. While still creeping, while still leveling up these heroes, or trying to at least, Focus is playing evasively here. Still doesn't want to fight. Gonna back off a bit, creep up a bit more. I guess he really needs that level three on the Shadow Hunter. Yeah, and Dice in a weird spot. I mean, now you kind of want to creep the uh, the whole right side, giving a big camp to Focus. And that's gonna be level three Shadow, so Focus has everything that he kind of needs. I wonder who's gonna Expo first, or who's gonna want to uh, do something risque, but here is no reinforced defense, and Dice yes. is here. The war mill is just being built now. The upgrade is far, far away. Focus has a boost home with the speed scroll. He got the level 3, got the big item. It is a medallion of courage, which is decent. But the crows all make their way into the back. Oh. And the opening is being blocked. Bl great play by Dice here, flying into the vulnerable borough position. Can take out the first one easily. Gonna take out the following ones right after. Tinker's blocking the way again. Blade Master can't really get in. He doesn't have wind walk. Oh my god, he can't get do? past him. Of course, he retrained earlier. Dice is doing huge damage here. Invo Potion pop though, the Tinker might be falling, is there a staff? No, there isn't. The hero's going down. Dice must make sure not to overextend here, not to lose too much. We'll take account of what happened here after the fight fades. But that was a nice tactical invasion there by Dice. And a really scary position for Focus. He, I thought he handled it really well. He still lost a couple burrows, but getting the Tinker's okay. And I think, um, what a play. What a play from Dice. Nice timing. And the annoying thing for Focus also is he just uh, quickly hopped into upkeep 50 to supply and now he's stuck there. Can't make anything more, has to wait for the burrows. This was being painful economically. He's gonna get one freebie in the middle, but Dice must make sure not to underestimate the Orc army either. This is a strong Orc army now. Blade Master about to get level four. The Shadowhunter got the level two for the Serpent Wards earlier and gonna pick up another item. Speed scroll it is. This could be a strong timing for Focus if he finds the opponent in a weak spot. Dice must make sure not to get caught off guard, but now he's getting caught out in the open indeed. We have Wisps here as well, ready for the detonate. Those will be needed against the mirror images. And also trying to detonate against the heroes. Mana burn on the Shadow Hunter right away. 
dispels these illusions pretty well. Also, Cyclone being used, but the demon is hurt now as well. He doesn't have evasion here, makes him a lot more squishy, to be honest. He's got lots of flaws, oh. but not too many defensive items. Needs to be staffed, needs to be staffed, needs to be Staff. staffed. Where is it? Oh, the hex more up just in time. Beastmaster could save the first hero just in the nick of it. And that was right on the edge. And with that, the fight might be going the way of Dice. The demon is coming back from the main, he healed up nicely. This but is everything huge. is still so hurt, man. What they wouldn't do for a heal scroll here. Tinker in trouble as well. In one top, the player is looking for the kill. But a lot he of have raiders going again. down, a lot of raiders. Oh, Dice, I mean, he's totally swung that fight. I thought folks had a great jack and then just that, oh, beautiful staff. And now the Demon Hunter just right clicking like crazy. Blade Master low. Yeah. I think folks need to get out of here. I don't think he can stay here. Oh, they're both still eager to fight. They're showing their cojones right now on the battlefield. Everything is taking more and more damage, so the right clicks from the Demon Hunter are crazy, man. With those claws, with that orb, we have another mirror image coming in, but the Wisp was there right away for the detonate, but didn't get rid of all of them, to be fair. Demon Hunter, by the way, out of mana, he can't burn anymore. Things that are Blade's getting weird right now. Blade Master, yeah, Blade Master's gonna die first. There's a staff again, saving him once more. Oh. The Beast Master now exposed as well. The staff is coming back in. This fight keeps on raging. Oh my the Demon God. Hunter, though, is healthy again. The oh. Tinker will fall. With the last right click from the walker, gets the tail end of that, finds the kill. Ooh, and the dust settles with focus still up in supply, but he has to spend a lot of time now healing up. Has to walk on back, use those clarities. And I guess that was a pretty even exchange, all things considered. Bit of a wash maybe towards the end, but I see these Night Elf, hero, Night Elf heroes leveling more and getting stronger and stronger. Looks to me like Dice is in a very fine position here. Yeah, I was just gonna say, level five demon's gonna be huge, and he might get five four here, or very, very close to it. What a game so far. Focus, diving in in that fight, and, and just like barely scraping through. He's still got a lot of units though. This is like a great army, and he's always looking to fight. I think he wants to go to the shop, and then he's just gonna go again. But everything's kind of low right now, Remo. Yeah, having the double berserk is also really good, especially against the talents, but I think the major threat now is gonna be the heroes. Demon Hunter, you're just pointing towards it. It's gonna reach level five in a moment. The Beastmaster got level 4, gets a level 2 Hawk, which I don't think does much though. I mean, there's a whole bunch of piercing damage in this army, especially with the Serpent Wards. Shadowhunter is level 4, barely only. I've seen level 5 Shadowhunters like, take out a Talon army by themselves, but that's a point that Focus is far, far away from. Dice here, thanks for this great early game, has that big experience. And again, Focus always the aggressor in these uh, fights so far. Coming across the map, the items are pretty good for Dice, though. He's got a heal scroll, he's got a heal pot. He's going to be a lot more composed to, uh, to tank with these heroes. He just needs to find a good positioning. He's near the Moonwells. I don't know if folks want to dive in too, too much, but the Spearwalker in the back is still a great fight. The Hunter forces the invuln early on. That's not exactly ideal. The Hunter is starting to suffer from having rather weak defensive items. He got the claws earlier. I think he sold one of them, but he's not that durable, really. Has to be staffed out. Now the Beastmaster is probably trying to go for the hero kill right now. On the second hero, the Beastmaster falls. That will be terrible for Dice trying to keep him alive with the speed, with the heal scroll. He's got the TP as well, but remember, there might be a Hex coming. Heal scroll being used by Focus as well, backing off, trying to let, let those uh, Serpent Wards go to work. Late Master Cycloned up as well. Big mana burn there on the Shadow, with the Demon Hunter about to reach level 5. There it is, one more Serpent Ward. Now we got the powerful level 3 spell. It's Immolation over Mana Burn here, but the Beastmaster now in trouble. Had to be careful about a Hex, but the Heal Potion was in just in time. Dice is doing this really, really damn well. Yeah, and despite having a level 5 uh, Glass Cannon Demon Hunter with no defense, he is just tank like crazy. The Playmaster has done nothing in the last 30 seconds. Now he's surrounded, and Folks has to make a decision. you got to save this Blade. No Spirling. items on him. Spirling buffs him up quite a bit, though. The Beastmaster in trouble again. If there's a Hex, he might be dead, but he's not dead yet. Fighting against the Shadowhunter. Oh. He has last second. Saves himself. And the blade will be saved that way as well because oh! the surround opens up. Focus saved by the bell, or is he saved? I don't know, everything's so low. Blade Master and Shadow are so low. What a crazy TP. And Dice is not gonna give him any room this time though. You gotta heal up, you gotta you need time, I'm not gonna give it to you. You got a full HP demon. Just run. Yeah, low mana, however, so he's gonna be limited that way. Cyclone on the Raider, last 20 seconds. It's a long time up in the air. While, by the way, Focus is trying to expand now, but Dice knows right away. He had a wisp there scouting. He knows that there's a tower coming up along with the Great Hall. And Focus now pointed it out. He needs time, lots of it, to heal. Still got those Berserkers, though, which is pretty good, but Focus also almost has an Expo, which could turn the tide for sure. That's the replay from, from the last series. Sick but replay, though. Sick replay. A, it was a good game, though. <laughs> yeah. It was a good game, gotta say. Yeah. Where Sok ended up being the winner. We're gonna see Sok later on today. Uh, the next match after this is gonna be against Fortitude in the best of five.
All right. So Dice, if he wins this fight and cancels the expo, this should be his game. Getting rid of these illusions pretty quickly now, able to do that quite reliably. The Orc heroes, not close to level 5 yet. I think this is the spot where they need to be normally. You need that level 5 now, you need for their strength to be carrying you over. Uh, as the Night of Heroes also have gotten so, so powerful. Dice wants to finish the job right here, right now, and take this 1-0 lead. The perfect. Demon Hunter is so strong with level 5 into the breach, he's first in line. But he's getting hexed as well, getting controlled that way. We still have lots of talent, mana, lots of Cyclones coming through, and the Shadow Hunter finds himself surrounded in the middle of the Night Elf army. Oh, can he be no. saved or can he? There's no wind walk to pop him out. He does not have a safety item anymore. Right click's coming through, the Spirling is keeping him alive for a little bit longer, but there is no saving him! Wow, this is all dice right now, all dice. He's not giving him any time, even though Folks has his expansion up. He's got no time to use it, and dice is just giving him no room. Blade Master barely gets out. That would have been GG. Folks would have been cooked. Look at those units, they're so low. Oh, this is all dice. Yeah, two towers at the expansion are very strong and talent specifically, but now it's the heroes, man. It's the Knight of Heroes, five, four, three. So damn strong. And level five for the BC as well. Level three Quill Beast, I suppose, will be really, really powerful. I think DICE has done it. Nobody's playing talent these days, really. I shouldn't say nobody. We see it rarely on some maps, but it's a really rare occurrence right now. Most players are going for the Dryad, their stuff. But DICE here comes in with a surprise. Focus wasn't ready for it, and he's looking to close out this game. Yeah, I stayed true to his word. He said he's going to take risks and do weird stuff and, and go with the flow, and this is a beautiful choice for map one. It's going to work out for him. Does he scout this expansion? I mean... Focus needs to make a decision now. What does he do? You have to defend this. You want to fight in these towers. It's probably your best shot of, of holding any semblance of this game. He has no units remote. Yeah, this is a desperate spot. What can this guy really do? He has to go for the tavern res, I guess. But he doesn't have the lumber for it either. This is just looking desperate. And it is looking over. And it is game. And Dice takes the 1-0 lead. A little bit of an upset here. Focus came into this as the clear favorite, but map number one goes to Dice with excellent play. Built on his great performance yesterday when he 2 0 Labby, and we thought, oh, maybe, you know, Labby was feeling a bit tired, didn't play his best. How much does that tell us about Dice's performance, really? Well, today he shows it again and is now one map away only from the semifinals. What a run that would be for him. Still a long series to go. Focus not going to give it to him, but yeah, I think I like the composure of Dice. Everything looked really clean, and uh, Focus looking a little nervous. You know, yeah. even though he was playing super aggressive, which he was the whole time, you know, props to that. Just Dice was so clean and got too much time to build all those dots, and what a game. I like the strat, too. Like, dots is pretty hot. I liked it. Yeah, I wonder if Focus can now make a smarter adjustment, realizing that the possibility of dots does exist. Um, I'm getting a bit worried for Focus, though. I have seen this movie a bunch of times before, Ricky. This is it's, his movie. It's final day, Focus. It's... Uh, the stage in the tournament will focus oftentimes will crumble a bit and will fail to play his best. Unfortunately, this has been the story of his career oftentimes. There have, a few, have been a few exceptions where he got really far into the grand final, even winning some bigger tournaments, but that is rare. He's always around. He's always one of the best orcs in the world, second highest ranked right behind Lin. But on the final day, man, it's a bit of a curse. Oftentimes things go wrong. If he falters here, then uh, that's only going to be one Korean in the top four. Dice with a great opportunity here. Let's continue and see where this leads. Last year with his luscious locks, he was Beach Boy Dice, but this year looking better than ever. And ice cold, I want to say. That first map beautifully played, just like the matches yesterday. Ever since Dice has been playing on stage, he has been on fire, man. And here on map two, we're going to see if that shall continue. This is Focus's map pick, Shallow Grave, a rather rare map pick, especially in some of the Asian tournaments. And a different hero setup this time. It's going to be a Keeper of the Grove returning. I was just going to say that, like, 
Focus doesn't really know what Dice is going to do now. You could do anything. In fact, he opens Dots right game back. one. It could be Mass Drives this time. could be Mass uh, Hunt uh, Archer. You never know what Dice is going to do this time. And he has full control Dice to make the series whatever he wants now. And Focus has to be the one scouting. Scouting this a bit early, but yeah, Keeper on this map is pretty common. Um, aggressive Keeper with Entangle. Want to get some units. So I like the choice. I didn't mind his demon though, but we'll see uh, how this game adapts because Dice is going to turn this up in any time. He can put APs up at any moment, depending on what fo yeah. room focus gives him. Against the Keeper, you always got to be on your toes. There's a lot of variety, there's a lot of different builds you may have to encounter. Oh, nice lightning shield creep here with the Blade Master. Very difficult to proper this lightning shield, to trigger this lightning shield properly with a melee hero, but focus here has it on lock and we'll get full experience. Very important here. Do not deny anything with that lightning shield that can be cast. So 1.8 early for these two heroes. Keeper off to the races here. Gonna go for a fast level two. And then the question is what will we see? The Hunt's expansion, maybe the, um, the towers, the APs, or Dryads. I think Dryads has been the most popular lately. Keeper first into Dryads with Demon Hunter or with Alchemist, in fact. We've seen that as well. Yeah, and I think Dice's style, he does prefer the mass Dryads if he's going to play like his standard against Orc, so um, that's probably what we're going to lean to, but we'll see. I mean, he said he, at any more moment he'll shake it up, so Focus is around only level 1.8. Probably wants to get level 2 and an item, which he will. Right now, Dice is going across, finds that Grunt early. One Entangle could be two. This Grunt is getting low. There's no Blade for a Deny. This might be an easy pickoff. I think that one's a goner. It's going to cost him two entangles, maybe three. It's a bunch of mana, but it's also a very valuable kill. And you mentioned it, no deny. It's a full experience for the keeper. One more swing of the hammer, and there he goes. Blade Master got level two in the meantime. It is not mirror image, but illusions. So Windwalk crit. This time, we're going to have the good old Blade Master style. And we still have yet to figure out what Dice exactly is up to. He's still keeping his options open. Well, I mean, now with the dead grunt, a uh, bit of a gift, he could, yeah, he could throw APs down or anything, so I'm excited now. Focus. It, it, this map is so small in that regard, too. Like, Keeper easily can get level 2 and go across, so you almost have to, like, make a decision. Do all the grunts stay in the base, or do I be aggressive? It's so easy to lose that grunt. Um, I see archers, I see hunts, though. Yeah, and you mentioned the AP before. AP is coming up next to the orc base, and it hasn't been scouted yet. There's a lot of room on this base to plant buildings. We can see a Scout moving out for focus, but he's been checking on the other side of the base, so he hasn't figured it out yet. Blade shows up though, gets the tome, alright, a little bit more agility. We appreciate that. Dice knows the blade is right around the corner. What is he gonna follow this AP up with though? Is this just all in? Is he gonna plant more APs or is he gonna expand behind it? Also very popular tactic. Focus has got to be sweating bullets right now. He sees the units. He, now he sees the AP. It's built, though. Getting some good right clicks while it's uprooted, which is good. Um, and we'll see how he adapts. Obviously, Dice has to make a decision. Do you want to all in or do you just want to be light pressure? He could just, you know, tack and just move on from this. So it pays to be Night Elf sometimes, Remo. Yeah, very interesting here. And also decisions have to be made. We see a Wormel coming up in the back of the base. The easiest way to deal with this is having a Demolisher, but takes a while to get it. Wormel is still far away. Another attempt to try to counter this is go Shadowhunter and Hex and Hero Focus the Keeper, force him to TP away, and then take out the AP when the Keeper is gone. Blade Master sees more APs and more APs oh, being attempted. Okay. And the Blade, Ooh. Oh man, if there's a reveal there, he might be dead, but he's still alive for now. He has to fight time for the Shadow. Cannot allow this altar to fall too early. This is close. I mean, the Shadow will probably come out. Peons are repairing very quickly, but these APs behind this are going to come up. Oh, the Treants are just getting nothing but value as well. Yeah, so many Treants. And if the Shadow comes out, where is he going to pop out? Is he going to make it out of here alive? He needs to set the Rally Point properly. Shadow Hunter. How much longer? A few more seconds. The repair is in. Great saves on the peons, by the way. Didn't lose any up until this point. Now I guess the first is going to go down. No, even that one. Is he getting nice the shadow? Save. Where's he going to pop out? Oh, the repair is it in time. Oh, just comes out, but he's kind of surrounded. Almost, but the altar goes down with the shadow already available. Shadow Hunter still sweating, sweating, nervous, panicking. But he does make it out just barely. Still gives time for Dice to have these three APs up. That's a strong uh, push right now. One demo on the way. Dice making glaives behind this. So this is going to be a siege for quite some time. I love that folks have been so patient with the grunts, though, using that burrow for defense and just taking his time. Alchemist second. Love that. Dice really ballsy. Going all in here on map number two. He knows if he wins this one, this series is over. He would be through in the top four. Demos are coming. Demos are amazing against these APs, but the burrows might still be very squishy because the peons were close to repair, the lumber was low, there's no reinforced defense here for a long, long time. The Serpent was trying to buy more time for the first demolisher. Also the question is, where is it going to pop out? There it is, bottom left, 
needs to save it and does keep it alive for now. Back and forth, you gotta focus on the demo, demo. you gotta focus on the uh, heroes. The APs are just pummeling that burrow, which is the right target fire. The Serpent Wards haven't been able to do much either. And Focus just has to sit back, use that demo. Just take your time, get those APs down. You can slowly start working with your blade. Oh, if the burrow falls, it's the supply block. He needs a second demolisher realistically to have a good chance here of holding. It's mass repair, mass really expensive. The blade mass and Shadow engaging again into the army. Mana is running low on the Knight of Sight, to be honest, and he's finding a vulnerable glaive in the back. Speed scroll used right away, trying to take it out. The Blade Master is revealed. There is Sentinel here, so he must be careful with his positioning. And the glaive trying to save itself. The Grunt's chasing after the repair is in. The repair from the Wiz. The Blade Master in trouble. Super stressful situation. Focus with a heal potion. Oh my saves god. Saves himself Focus. barely. The second AP all of a sudden gone. And Focus might be pulling off the hold. Focus is holding huge right now. This is great. The Keeper does have mana. He's trying to go for the blade right now, though. The blade's low. Trying oh. to get him. He's trying to get him. This will be huge. Huge! He blocks, oh, got him! Oh! And that's a kill he much needed because two of his APs have fallen already. But one is still standing. I think there's a shop there coming up as well. Of course, there's no altar now. No, wait, he remade the altar. Oh, focus! With the stroke of genius, actually remade the altar to can now revive the Blade Master. And Dice is also kind of fizzled out here. He's got no mana left, only one AP left standing. Focus with a sick hole. Do the repair both on the burrow and on the altar just in time. Holding this kind of a push without reinforced defenses, really tough. But he made it happen. At least it seems so. But yeah. it can't be too short just yet. And neither can focus. Focus is sick. Um, and this is also a weird spot because, yeah, Dice is just going to get out of here. There's no way to poke even though you have an AP. I think he's just going to call it. But does he have room to transition? Because right now, focus is just rolling in this momentum. Yeah, what a hole. Damn, focus is... He's, he saw his life flash before his eyes. This is where his tournament almost ended, dude. If the blade goes down a bit sooner, if the APs survive, this is where his series ends. But Focus finally, officially has held and now starting to rebuild. Yeah, Bestiary coming up and now he's going to have a sick tier 2 army. Focus, well done. And Dice starting to creep up. I mean, he's trying to transition, so we'll see how he goes from here. But he's definitely going to be facing a Focus that's ready to, uh, ready to rumble, as they say in boxing. Yeah, focus, I guess, uh, Dice actually would have had two options. Either try to go for an expansion with the decent Hunter's Army that he had right there, or tech up. And the decision is tech. He's on the way to tier 3, trying to get Archer upgrades now. He wants to go into Marksmanship Archers later. What's Focus going to do? Right now his army's looking kind of weird. Demo's very great defensively, not so great out in the open. He's got one run right now and two heroes. So not much frontline at all. At the Murak camp he's going to add in some Berserkers as well. Blade level 3, Shadow level 2. Not leveled too well yet. We clearly see an experience lead here on the Night Elf side. Yeah, the good thing for Focus too, if you start creeping up like crazy, get that Shadow to 3, probably go to the Expo for that next uh, camp. But uh, yeah, Dice is doing great, man. 3-3 three, three heroes as well. I like the idea of just massing Tier 1 units. I think that's the right call. Go Tier 3, get some upgrades, and just mass. And everything can do well against uh, the army that Focus has, so... Yeah, bottom third might be a consideration as well. We're gonna see Orb of Venom later, we're gonna see Marksmanship later. Big damage upgrades are coming soon for DICE, but it's still gonna be a while. Focus has an opportunity soon to uh, build on a strong army. This Orc army, like Grunt Sham, is really strong, around 50 supply, if you have good hero levels. And with that power point at uh, 50 supply, you can try to expand behind it. The Orc tier 2 expansion is something we've seen very successful and popular in many different matchups. So this might be the next step for Focus. DICE's first plan didn't work out here. The AP was very bold, the AP push. It almost worked, but yeah, it was held, and now DICE has to make adjustments. Yeah, this is his army looks really wacky the to tome. background. Pick up that He's tome. leaving the tome. Oh, Twitch chat isn't going to appreciate this. Forces are under attack. He'll get it. It's one damage for free right there, Ricky. He needs it, too. His army looks so whacked. I mean, it's good for defending, but it's still so... Uh, it can easily get caught off guard, especially with the Keeper. Shadowhunter's going to get three here, though. That's a good start. And he needs to transition. Slowly, the Raiders are coming in. He's going for an Expo, too. Focus. Greedy. He's going to have a strong Shadowhunter build, by the way, this time late game. There is no Hex here, but rather Shadow Wards and Heal Wave. If the Shadow gets to four, that is very, very strong indeed. Blade Master also getting stronger. He's quite durable with these two rings. He's got zero bonus damage. That is kind of crazy. That's a rare sight. So, uh, can't bank too much on the Blade Master's damage this time around. I wonder if Dice has Wisps over there to see that expo. I don't think he does, but he's probably going to knock him many more times. Four, three heroes. He has good items. I mean, Invuln. Uh, I think he's ready to push, and Focus needs a lot of time, Reno. A lot of time. Upgrades rolling in soon for Dice. We got the armor upgrade finishing alongside the marksmanship here in just a little moment. Ah, picks up the tone. Thank you, Focus. That was uh, 
My crowds go nuts. <laughs> crowds, <laughs> crowd goes nuts. Hell yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah. Dice is going to be fighting this. Focus halfway on this expo. And can you even defend this, Remo? That demo is so bone. Look at the awkward army for Focus. Where is Frontline? I guess it has to be Mirami. He's got two Grunts and two Raiders. That's mostly it. But in we go into the fight. It is level two. Heal wave, by the way, not level two. Serpent Woods realizing that more and more archers will be joining. The first Raider goes down right away. Blade. The Blade Master is caught! That's not what you want to do. What is he going to do? Locks it again. Got the heal potion. He's got the rings. He is very tanky. Still here for a while. Getting also uh, acid bombed on top of him. Heal spray is coming through. The lightning shield on top of the blade. I think he's falling. Aww. I think he's falling. No way out anymore. Blade Master dies. And Dice finds a way back to the lead in this game. Huge lead. I mean, you still have a demo behind this. Focus is... Oh, the tree ants are killing the expo for free. Oh, this is great. Great for Dice. He's got full map control. That blade kill was huge. And ah, uh, Focus. What do you do? And when the blade is back, there's decent chance still here to take a good fight, but the staff back in from the Alchemist, he's got good mana again, lots of heal spray available. And the Shadowhunter, having not much mana for himself in the tank, was going here away for the right choice, should it have been Serpent Watch perhaps instead. Dice, what a recovery here on map number two. The AP push didn't work out, but all of a sudden, again close to victory. Well, I mean, I was going to say, look at the positioning of Dice's units too. Focus can't engage, I mean, uh, despite the Keeper taking a lot of damage, but Dice is finding such a good position to do damage and focus. If he wants to commit, he has to commit. Bottom third. This is a strong army right now. Focus has to run away with the army and has to get the Blade Master back from the, the tavern. You can give him the heal cell right away, I believe. Yeah, there's one cell left. That is something, but Dice is getting close to the victory here. Close to the 2 0 against Focus to make the top four run at Rara Land 3. You can smell it. Burrow goes down, Barracks goes down, and he's just going to keep sieging. Why wouldn't he? Focus is going to heal with the ward. Okay, I like that. Yeah, the heal ward is sick. We're that is see. actually so valuable right now. The orc, I mean, uh, the orc base more and more in shambles. So many buildings have gone down already. But this could be a good fight for Focus when he finally engages here and collapses on the Night Elf army if he gets the right connection. But where's the damage? The Blade Master is still looking underwhelming. Good thing he's got those rings. Those are helping him out for now. But the DPS is minimal on the orc side. Yeah, and the mana's so low, and Dice doing such a good job of segregating that blade. He can only right-click once, and he runs away. Good heals from the Alchemist as well. Dice wants to take this fight for Focus. This is kind of his last ditch effort. Goes for the Keeper. It's a little risky. I don't know if he has the DPS for that, especially with the blade out of the fight. But both heroes are running back, and the base Focus is split, and Dice is killing so many units right now. At least he's targeting them. And GG! Has to tap out. It's a 2-0 for Dice, eliminating Focus, the last Orc in the tournament, and the last Western Hope alive. Dice with a great showing today and yesterday with his biggest results in his career. Huge.